Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and today we're gonna to be going over the 2019 F-150 with the five liter V8. I know that a lot of people love the Ford trucks, but they aren't quite in love with the new EcoBoost, which I think is kind of weird because it's such a powerful motor. But anyways, we're going to do a quick walk around on this truck, then we're going to take it out to see how it drives. A big shout out and thank you to Larry Miller, Ford, Lincoln here in Draper, Utah for providing us with a truck. If you're in the market for a new Ford, check these guys out. Under the hood here, we have a naturally aspirated 5 liter V8. In terms of power outputs, it's good for 395 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque. Fuel economy numbers are 16 around town and 22 on the highway, which is good for a V8 motor. And then, like I said, 10 speed automatic transmission. So, pretty good setup going on there. Now, just giving you kind of a front end look of this F 150, this is an XLT, so you'll get all of the chrome on the front with the halogen lights to the side. Fog lamps are just down below with the tow hooks as well. And I love the paint on this. So it's kind of like a bluish gray kind of. Looks absolutely fantastic in the sunlight. We're gonna take things to the side of the truck. So let's go to the tire and rim setup. So around this side here, we've got these 18 inch rims, 275 millimeter tires, pretty standard in the truck segment. Side steps just down the side. F-150 XLT badging since this is an XLT. This one is the full Super Crew cab. And then you can see the tire and rim setup in the back is identical to the front. Here is our key fob for the F-150. So you got a couple functions, your lock and unlock and a remote start. If you press that button twice, that will do the remote start function after you have locked the truck. And then you hear that five liter V8 come to life. Press it again and that'll shut it right off. And then we can unlock the truck fully. So the bed will lock and unlock with the truck and then the tailgate will pop down. So we've got some bed liner here already on the truck. It actually does have LED bed lights, which is nice. You got some tie downs as well in the bed. And then you've got a little cargo light just in the top right there. And there actually is a sliding window. And then if we pick up this bed, it's actually really light. This one doesn't have that kind of bed step thing. So it makes the bed significantly lighter than a truck that does have that. And then we can see receiver hitch just down below. And then you've got all of your plugins for towing on top of that chrome bumpers on this XLT and then the tail lights are going to be incandescent lights in the rear. Now coming around to the back, we can look at the door panel here in the rear. So they've got this cool kind of like black trim door handle right there. I've always liked the door handles on the F-150s. It's just a neat little touch. We've got some soft touch material right here. One of the speakers for the sound systems. Loading floor flat and a ton of space back here. This one's got the bench seat. So there's like a little cubby right there, some cup holders. A little charging station just down below and then you got to pull this little latch to pull down the seat right there but you can flip these up just for a little bit of extra storage or have it down so you can have passengers in that area before we pop inside we've got a little keypad right here to basically get into the truck if you don't have your keys on you and then you can see this one's got these smaller sized mirrors but they still have a little convex mirror in it heating element as well and then we can actually open it up. So looking at the panel here in the front, so more soft touch at the top right here, another one of those handles with the black trim. All of your window controls right here with your mirror adjustments, door lock and unlock, and then one of the speakers for the sound system. And then coming over here to the seat, you can see you've got all of your controls with the lumbar, so full power. The XLT has come with cloth seats, so it's the premium cloth. Actually really comfortable to sit in in general. And then finally, we can go over the pedal layout just down below right there. And then you've got your little parking brake right here. This is actually to adjust the pedals, which is a nice little luxury feature. Fog lights, and then you've got your cargo lights, all of your lights for the headlight controls right there. And then the steering wheel is manually adjustable. Step in height's actually pretty easy to get in and out of, especially with those side steps, but regular key fobs, you just gotta put it in, turn it, and then the truck will start right up. Says built Ford tough and tells me that I'm almost out of fuel as always. I've got all of our controls for the volume on this part of the steering wheel. And then just down below, you've got your Bluetooth phone controls, all of that. And then over here, you have the controls for the cruise control. And then this little keypad is for that center screen right there. And then kind of a little bit of leather wrap around the steering wheel. And then there's some contrasted stitching. And then you've got your regular turn signal light stock with some windshield wiper functions right there. And then over here, this is your column shifter. And then it does have a tow haul mode on it. And then you can shift the gears yourself if you'd like. Now I've got all the gauge clusters here. So we've got RPMs on the left side. On the right hand side, we've got the speed. And then you can see that there's a bunch of different menus that you can essentially scroll through here on 
the gauge cluster gives you different bits of information on the truck. So like, for example, you can see every bit of information. So like on fuel economy, we can see the current fuel economy on this, even though the truck hasn't really been driven, so it's not accurate, but then you've got like a little trailer status, all that kind of stuff. So it's neat, all of the functions that they actually give you on the truck. Now here is our touchscreen, and just above you can see stability control and then auto stop start and then your hazard lights. But this is Ford Sync 3 system, so super responsive, really easy to use in general. You can see that everything happens pretty close to instantaneous. It's not the quickest, but it's one of the quicker ones in the car industry. But you can see all the different functions you can do on the touchscreen. It even has navigation on it. And then also, while we're on the touchscreen, let's go over the backup camera. So you can see backup camera, turn the steering wheel, lines will turn with it, and then I can even zoom in onto the receiver hitch as well with that. So really good system in general. Now just down below, we've got all of our analog controls here. So analog controls for the radio, and then we've got some more controls for like charging stations, essentially, so 12 volt power outlet. Probably shouldn't have stuck my finger in there. Anyways, dual zone climate. This actually does have heated seats, which again, a nice luxury feature in this truck. And then you've got your shifter for two wheel high, four wheel high, four wheel low. And then this is your trailer backup with the trailer brakes already integrated. So it's nice that they even put the backup system on this XLT. And then you can see we've got our USBs and then a, another charging station with some cup holders just below. So you can see this one's got the bench seat. So I already showed you kind of like their storage on top of the seat, but you can see that you can have it be a seat. And then there is more storage underneath the seat as well. And then we've got some storage above the glove box. And if we actually open this up, you can see Gigantic glove box, plenty of storage space in that whole area. Now we've got the control for the power sliding window right here, and then you've got a little sunglass holder in that area. More light controls at the top as well, but pretty bare other than that. I mean, they keep things pretty simple. So wrapping things up, I actually really like the interior on this. This particular truck stickers were just over $51,000 before any type of market adjustment, which just a hint, Market adjustment will make this truck go down in price. But that all being said, let's test out this new five liter V and see how it drives. Let's initially start off here in the F-150 with the 5 liter V8 and you can see over the hood just like all the other F-150s it's going to be identical they've just stuffed a different motor in it and then you can see through the mirrors visibility is actually really really solid there and then you can see through the other mirror and then you can see over your shoulder visibility is good as well and then through the other mirror but let's fully set off. So while we're waiting here let's first talk about steering so just like all the other F-150s very very light and effortless really easy to place as well i mean you can see right here just goes right where i want it to go with the steering and in terms of vagueness there's a little bit but i mean that's expected pretty much every single truck is like that we're gonna get a little acceleration here if this uh slow coma gets out of the way get it okay anyways see how this five liter v8 performs So I mean, from an acceleration standpoint, definitely not as quick as the EcoBoost. I can tell you that right now. I mean, I'm here in Utah, so I'm at about 4,000 feet of elevation. So yeah, the turbos are gonna do better overall just because of the elevation. But yeah, the power difference, I can, I can definitely feel it. So if you're power hungry, that V6 twin turbo, that's gonna be the route to go. Now you can see ride quality here is actually really smooth on the highway and there's a little bit of road noise that comes through but it's a really comfortable driving experience in general feels pretty solid um, on that side of things and yeah i mean it's not like a full-blown luxury car but it's very comfortable now let's sum things up on this five liter v8 motor and where i kind of think this stands so if you are worried about long-term reliability with those twin turbo v6s then yes the five liter less moving parts all that kind of stuff it's going to be more reliable in general fuel economy you're roughly going to be the same honestly those turbos once you get into those turbos you start eating up fuel so this even though the epa rates it a little bit less the real life fuel economy is going to be pretty similar between the two and so if you're looking for a truck that you know, long-term reliability is gonna be good and you just don't need as much power as what that EcoBoost provides, then this five liter V8 is gonna be a solid offering and 
just everything about it, maintenance costs, all that kind of stuff is gonna be less on the long term and the engine even costs less as well. So yeah, if you're in the market for a Ford and you want a V8, check out the 5.0. And there we have it, everyone, the all new 2019 F-150 XLT with that five liter V8. Like I said, if you want something a little bit more simplistic with the engine, then this is the route to go. It's not gonna have all of the moving parts that that 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 is going to have. But as always, if you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you thought. And then again, a big shout out and thank you to Larry Miller, Ford Lincoln here in Draper for providing us with the truck. I'll see all of you in that next video.